speed it up. I can push you the can button. Override. Or you can go back. Okay. Mm -hmm. well, you, you may you want need to do that refer too. back. <laughs> from the yeah. This is the kind where I would recommend it. Warming up the audience. Ready when you are. Okay, ecstasy. How does it affect the brain? This is about love, folks. <laughs> <laughs> I do think uh, when we get to the point where we're defining ecstasy, we're talking about um, what's in it, what's it all about. Ecstasy, in fact, uh, is another form of uh, a euphoria that uh, we associate with pleasure, with uh, sometimes with those uh, with pain. Um, apparently, uh, it is also a chemical uh, that is uh, very um, profitable in uh, modern pharmaceuticals. And as you can see, um, as a foster mother, um, that some forms of rodentia actually uh, will survive uh, the absence of love as well as the pharmaceutical injection of, of, of that. Uh, as a control device, though, we see that with the planning involved with the life of the foster mother uh, and, and related uh, mammals, um, that there's this whole host of, of people who have to be accompanying this. And of course, as we all know, this is where love happens. <laughs> yes, I rest my case. Uh, this is actually, um, this, uh, this is funny that this is here because uh, I had this very intense discussion with Kip and Charles earlier today and yesterday about all the anatomical metaphors associated with the design of buildings. And little did they know that in fact that this has to do with our affectionate, um, uh, our, our moment of emotional weakness. Wow, look at these. Sharks, sharks teeth actually provide the impetus here uh, for, for the transformation and the, the exchange of of love. Wow, this is, this is covering. This is a science fiction movie that um, I, I really have missed. Um, so, part of this, of course, is developing empirical testing for the uh, sort of analysis, the quantification of, of what this really means uh, in terms of uh, love. And, of course, as you can see, of course, whether it's straight line, or, uh, an ellipse, or a parabola, uh, love comes in, in many shapes. Uh, many types of MMs uh, <laughs> contribute to the, the again the sort of uh, overwhelming chemical uh, release of uh, M and Ms. Yes, um, these are not colors, of course, that you can get this time of year. You'll have to wait till the fall. <laughs> um, mother, where have you been? <laughs> this this is where love actually originates. I think uh, uh, is the the ability to. Uh, to be able to talk about what actually stimulates us to, to generate uh, affections uh, for uh, things, for objects, for people, uh, and the like. Uh, wow. <laughs> you see, uh, again, the, this, this is just a pharmaceutical uh, uh, euphemism for, for affection, for love. This is, just a, this is how they make money, is calling it drugs. This is just about the transformation, the exchange of, of what we all uh, have uh, uh, learned and sometimes been denied uh, that learning, but uh, it is about uh, this transference. Um, again, you can see the sort of uh, effects of this artificial component that's been overlaid. Um, these, in fact, are the hairs on my head uh, related to, uh, related to the, the extent of my involvement with love or the chemical substitute. <laughs> um, then there is the possibility that, um, and this is really interesting because I, uh, I've never experienced hyperthermia um, <laughs> or actually had the opportunity to say that I've lived through it. Um, but but uh, certainly the, the, uh, the, in the anatomical analogies of what this is all about, it really is about um, how your organs respond. Um, uh, whether or not, of course, uh, this is a good or um, not so good thing, uh, as Jorge might say. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Uh, this is an image that you just don't want to show to your children. Um, I, I think that the, the, the sadness or you that do. we associate with um, the, the potential of, uh, one, it's just not knowing that this is an addiction. Um, this, this poor person has transformed to the extent that uh, this is what it's been reduced to. Philip Johnson, isn't that great? Isn't that amazing? Isn't that amazing? Uh, he, lives, he lives in his home. That's good. Assuming that Paul also picked up on that. <laughs> <laughs> it's so scary, isn't it? 
um, I do think that the, the, the importance of, the, of these, um, these useless graphs against the, the sort of uh, photographic uh, documentation is that uh, we can actually come to some conclusions on our own in terms of determining these sort of associations. Um, and that, that some of that, in some cases, has to do with the, the, the um, functioning analysis of the hypothalamus as it relates to the, um, the, the regurgitation of those drugs. And then, of course, the consequences of all that. Um, uh, this, this is about joy. This is about the sadness associated with the absence of, of joy. This goes on and on. <laughs> Substitute the word love here. That's all I ask you. Um, this is a high school photograph. Uh, believe it or not, this was back in the band days and, uh, when we were on the road. It was a really fun time and lots of uh, free and purchasable love.